Hi guys and thank you for joining the channel. I hope you're doing well today. In this video I will show you quickly how to replace the speed engine sensor on this Audi B6 with a 1.8 turbo engine. Don't forget to like the video, share it with somebody you know and of course subscribe to the channel if you are in the VW product such as Volkswagen, Audi and Porsche. Let's get to it. The only tools you would need is a flat screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, number 10 socket, a pair of uh, pliers to cut the wire, and something of this sort of a tool so that you can grab your sensor, the old sensor, out of its housing. Number one, just to undo this one to release the coolant reservoir out of its place lift it up a little bit and then towards yourself like that from these two clips and you don't need to completely take it out or even disconnect you can disconnect the plug if you want to but just put it aside like that and then you get access right there and i hope you will be able to see that or because i'm doing it blindly here but you are sensor is right there sorry my engine is not that clean so this is the engine speed sensor that we'll be removing right there and the connector for that sensor is right here it's the gray one so next is tricky you saw where the sensor is at you take your number 10 socket with an extension of about five six inches locate locate the sensor and the number 10 bolt might be a little tricky it's probably that trickiest element of this okay so once you got it located that's probably your 25 percent done so once you get it going to the point of finger twisting or so that you can do it with your fingers, get down there, undo the bolt. And then the next step, once it's loose, pretty much, I followed the wire of the uh, sensor because it's quite tight here with the couple clips and uh, zip ties. It's that one right there. And then there is another one up here. So what I did, I basically clipped the original sensor wire at about location before the zip tie and then between the zip ties. So once you've done that, right, you free the wire out, you just pull it out of there, undo the housing of the sensor plug like so then insert your flat screwdriver inside right here you hear the click and voila so you got your old wire out and then you once you got the bolt out of there keep it tight in your hands uh, if you need to again use this tool just to loosen it up the sensor itself and here is your old sensor. Get your new guy in. You bolt it in, you secure it here on the neighboring wire. And then you bring it up. You plug back inside. And voila, here we go. So now go ahead, delete the error and you're good to go. It's a fairly simple repair. If you know where it's located, how to get to it and how to, uh, well, the best way to get the wires and everything connected and most of all, to know where it's at. So if you like the video, don't forget to like it, share it and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you later, bye.